An overwhelming amount of you all decided to have CT go the local restaurant route and have him collect the 1500 to send to his mom to help with the bills. And that's exactly what CT did. Like I said before, the task was fairly easy and all he had to do was take a pic and post it to social media <laughs> the easiest money he ever made and although the amount was much less than the mcdonald's deal it was a lot to his mom the ct called his mom to surprise her she was very happy as you could imagine anything to help his mom he was willing to do it also because it was such a simple task and it didn't require too much extra work ct was able to get in some much needed extra time studying and working on his game and it was perfect timing because colgate was on their way to marsh madness this is going to be a lot of tough games for Colgate coming up so CT had to be in top performance conditioning. Gaining that muscle was a for sure way of being able to battle against some top NBA prospects that he was for sure going to run into while on this journey. Stepping up on defense was also much needed and I believe you all made some great decisions to put CT in a great position to compete. This will be our last upgrade before we go to the NBA draft combine so as you all have done so many times before let's make sure CT is the best he can and B. Should CT focus on rebounds and post moves, get a plus 10? Or should he focus on rebounds, blocks, and interior defense, which is also a plus 10? You decide which route CT goes with. Remember, this is to make sure CT is a great pick for the NBA draft, so choose wisely. Scenario, it's your boy YG, and we are back on the NBA 2K23, my career with Camden Tinsley. Y'all know the name, y'all know what time it is. Baby, you already seen the title, you seen a thumbnail. It is time for March Madness, and of course, game one happens to be against UCLA. And Amari Bailey and them boys, and you know IRL, they did not have a, a too good of a run, especially with the hype surrounding Amari Bailey. So, you know, I'm trying to get Eva the same outcome in the video game. You hear me? So, Colgate CT. It's about that time. It's March Madness time, chat. Without further ado, Shkada. Okay, they loud in here. Oh, wait. You see the lineup, though. It's time for CT to turn up. He got to. Oh, y'all see the matchup? That's crazy. How is CT not up there? What? Amari about to do him dirty. I already know it. It's March Madness, so you got to yell it for the one time. Jump off, get it, get it. Jump off, get it, get it. Jump off, oh, Lord. Chat, I'm late. It's time to get right into it, man. Y'all are no time yet. You know, we got to start it off right. So I'm pulling up. <laughs> like, I need UCLA to know I'm coming correctly. You feel me? And that's exactly how we're going to come the whole time out the old school move. Watch the feet work. CT is maneuvering. I feel like I'm from DC, chat. He's doing it. Oh, we <laughs> scoring two with it. Like, chat, I'm pulling it off. I said back then they didn't want me back. You feel me? CT is going bananas and it's still the first part of the first half. He has 15 of the 22 Colgate points. When you're looking for a leader, this is what we looking for. <laughs> back at my man's down. Showing another post move chat. The score was 30 to 11 before we fast forward it. And now Colgate is, it, they done unleashed the floodgate. They done opened the floodgate. Shout it. It's time to unleash that fun. It's time to have fun. All we got to do is go down there and make sure we don't have too many empty possessions. And this is a dub. And you know every time CT touched the ball, it's a bucket. 25 points, 11 boards. I got takeover. That shouldn't have been green, but with my takeover, I could take over. You feel me? Amari Bailey, though. Let's not count my mans out, right? I'm not saying that UCLA was a bunch of slouches, but they did not show up today. They they definitely underestimated us. I will say that because we, we came out fast, bro. We, we, we was hitting these boys quickly, quietly, and holy. You all already know what time it is. I set that screen. My feet are set that green release. Bang! You know it's wet, chat. <laughs> And, uh, uh, and again, all we have to do is come down and score, right? Two points. But look at Amari Bailey fighting. I mean, like, 2K, I feel like it was a little too late for this type of animation. 
because it's 87 to 64. And again, every time CT touched the ball, it's like any one and one or two points or three points the easy way, the hard way. You feel me? Like, stop playing with us. We are literally up 34 points. Never mind. Blew it back. 36 points. Lord, I can't do the math because that was incorrect. 106 to 77 is the final score. We end up wiping the floor with UCLA. Them boys better respect us next time. Wait a minute. It won't be a next time. Chad, it's time to get into game two. Oh, wait. Game two, and we got them UConn Huskies and IRL UConn. And, uh, homie, <laughs> those boys went crazy, didn't it? But unfortunately, this ain't the real world. This a video game. <laughs> and CT is his name. I'm pulling up with that bang. Unfortunately, UConn will not have the same outcome. I, I'm not going to hold you, but these, give me that. Fast forward on the other end. Give it back to me. Yeah, they talking about snatch block on one end. Big body on the other end. Uh, post God on both ends. You should know that by now I got takeover yet again. He holding his nuts. Let me calm down so I don't touch him. You feel me? He's nasty. We're actually tying the game up right now. UConn was definitely a better opponent. I guess they seen what we did to UCLA, so they had to step up just a little bit. Bang. I said, <laughs> I had said, bang. So you didn't see the irony in what I said. I said they had to step up a little bit, but yet again, they left me wide open from three. I'm throwing it down off the baseline. Like they stepped up just a tad bit, but not enough to contest me. 81 to 79. Look at the maneuvering. Chad, I'm doing it again. Pull up with that jumper. You know it's wet. I'm trying to get us back into this game because this is not where, this is not where we should leave it, Chad. We cannot allow us to lose in the second round already. I can't have it, but UConn, bro, just so relentless. I don't know what to do. It's 98 to 100, playing great defense right here. Way to stay on your feet. Make sure I get the rebound, pushing the fast break like we're supposed to do, and look at our point guard coming through, weeding through the defense. And chat. That's going to bring us to this point here. Coach tried to put it in my hand with 3.7 seconds left. Just couldn't time it. Great defense from UConn, and we are going into OT. And luckily, our teammates was lit because CT was making great defensive plays. Look at me recognizing that the man was about to be wide open, and I get the block, and I get the stop. And honestly, that's pretty much all CT had to do with overtime. Honestly, just <laughs> helping on defense, making sure that we didn't leave anybody open for reckless shots. And we end up actually winning. We had no highlights besides that in OT. 111 to 104 is the final score. So CT and Colgate will be moving on to the final four. And then, of course, the big game, the big dance. This is going to be huge for CT. So make sure you guys choose wisely on what we should upgrade. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. If you did, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up subscribe turn on post notifications if you are new to the channel and you want to see some more nba 2k content just like this and i got you guys but until the next one man they survive the job force wasn't looking to hire and the block went hungry for days so as we always do in the hood we found ways to make money under the table y'all see back then there weren't too many rules in place that would stop sports betting and the homies had picked this idea up from some white kids that would hang around the community with a hype around